for all you electronic peaks out there. This is my uh, vintage uh, tape recorder collection. I got one more, uh, but it doesn't work. Uh, I'm not even going to bring it out there. It's a uh, Sony. It's from the mid 60s. And, but I'll just show you these uh, three I got here that are working condition, but they're not the greatest. So they, like this one needs service. It's playing a little bit slow. As you notice, I think it's just a one speed. Uh, so it's uh, Phillips. And uh, I got it from my sister and her husband years ago when, uh, when they decided to get rid of it there. So they gave it to me and I've had it ever since. I even got the owner's manual and it says it well, was made in 1956. So anyways, I'm just gonna shut this one off. Then I'm going to put the tape onto the next unit. Yeah, this is a uh, Panasonic. And not too sure of the year of it because I didn't get it new. and. But I would say it's probably the mid 60s. So I just gotta turn it on. And it's a stereophonic. Got channel 1, channel 2. And I got the volume control I got the tone control I got the tone on this side and volume control for channel 2 this is channel 1 and there's a speaker off and on but it plays a little bit slow also it's, I think it needs to be serviced there got the free speeds one and seven eighths, three three quarters, and seven and a half. So I'll just shut this one off, and then I'll go and show you this last unit here, which is another old Phillips, and the model of it is I do have the model of this one. It is a EL three five four two. So I'll just. Uh, Switch the tape over to it and show its operation. Then I got the play button on here, which uh, turns it on. And this is the record button, and that's the pause. Uh, stop, rewind, fast forward, and this is the off on switch. One and seven eight speed, three and three quarters, and seven and a half. And I think this changes the uh, the channels. As you can see, the counter doesn't work on it there because I found out why I took it apart earlier today and found that uh, there's a belt that's missing off of there. And this is a volume control. And this is a tone control. Yeah, I'll just uh, stop it there. Take the tape off. And I can show you the inside of this one because it's easy to take apart. There's the inside of it. There's a where you can plug a jack in for a microphone. I believe it's a microphone jack. And there's the uh, indicator. It tells you the recording on it. And there's the counter. But as you can see, 
there's a belt that's missing off it that goes to this reel there. So I gotta try and find a belt for it somewhere to put that the counter working again. But it just shows the uh, insides of it there. So that there's a play. Pause. Stop. Okay, enough of that one. And last but not least is my old 1937 Norvin electric radio that my parents got for their wedding gift in 1937. And as you can see, I just turn it up here. It's got three bands on it. AM. And it's got... For a new team, a new city, a new playbook, COVID, and... Another AM channel. It's got pretty good tone for an old radio. I refinished it there uh, last year. Sanded it down and put a maple colored varnish on it. And But I still like to clear coat it sometime. And it's good. Short wave bands on it. Not really picking up anything right now. That's a green band, the inner band. And it's got a red uh, band. Which is a uh, different frequencies. And that's the band indicator there. And it topped off with a vintage lamp on the top. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that down so I don't uh, bother with all the static. So anyways, you guys, uh, have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.